from Molly's Artistry. Um, I had made a video of, I was trying to get a resin look for some, uh, for some beach waves and I made the video and it was great and it looks amazing. But then I realized that my light, overhead light, had such a glare that you couldn't see it. So it's kind of hard to paint here in the daylight. But anyway, so I wanted to do another one because it turned out so amazing. I wanted to do another one anyway. So I've, this is a 12 by 24 inch canvas. Um, my colors that I'm using are Cobalt Metallic, uh, Thalo Blue, and Payne's Gray. And my Payne's Gray, all my colors are really, really thin. And then in my white, I might even make it just a little bit thinner. In my white, I have a little bit of alcohol for some extra lacing. So that's what I've been playing around with today is working with the alcohol. Um, not alcohol inks or alcohol uh, acrylic inks, but actual like 91% alcohol adding it to the white. It doesn't create cells, but it does create lacing. So um, let me see here. All right, so that is the consistency of my paint's gray, and I'm just gonna pour this everywhere. Spread that out. I want that like glossy finish. Um, put a little bit more on there. I actually want that thinned out more than it is. And then I'll show you guys when they dry what it looks like, as everybody always asks. So, because the paints are so thin, these actually dry very fast. So, um, and then when the water, when the when I put that extra little bit on there, it actually changes the color. Because the more you dilute it, the more you change the binders that are in it, and the more that the colors are a little bit lighter. I want to make sure my sides are covered. This part in here, you can just touch it to get the paint to meet. Now I want to go up this way and over. I know you guys can't really see that, but I'm just moving the paints gray around right now. So just give me a little bit and I will be able to put this canvas back down. I did prepare this time with some extra Payne's Gray, but maybe I won't need it. This side down here is going to be the wave so that you guys can see it better. Um, but again, I had already painted my sides, so I'm okay if my sides don't like get super covered. just want it to look kind of continuous. And no bald spots. All right. Because the paint is so thin, I worry about the bald spots. All right, so first layer done. Looks beautiful, huh? <laughs> Just making sure you guys don't have that much of a glare. All right, so now I'm going to come in with a little bit of my Thalo Blue. I'm going to go, because this is a bigger canvas, I'm going to go up a little bit further. And then I'm going to come in with some of this metallic. I love this metallic color too, the cobalt. Come back in over top of that with a little bit of more metallic, I mean a phthalo blue. Get some of that down there. Get some of this down there. And then I know my head will be in the way for a little bit, but I'm literally just going to blow. So that's all I'm going to do. Mixing the paints together. I want it to be more of a controlled blow. That's why I am not using my blow dryer. I want to get as much of the paint off the canvas as possible from what I've just poured on there. When the paint stretches out and goes through each other. Oh, I got, got 
my boob on there. Sorry about that. Um, when the paint stretches out like that, that's where the cells can really start popping up and the colors can kind of layer through each other. If all the layers are sitting really thick on each other, especially even with this thin paint, you won't be able to see anything. Okay, now I'm just gonna tilt it to one side. some of that paint to run off and it also gives the illusion of a layer kind of when the paint goes up like that and then I'm going to go back to this side I know you guys can't see it I'll flip it back over in just one second these colors are coming through for you guys. Can you see the actual colors on there? Okay, I'll take you in for a close-up afterwards. I want to kind of just give it the illusion of flowing. These colors are literally so beautiful together, you guys. Now I'm just going to Apparently, I'm just going to blow some more, but, um, okay. Now, so here is my white. You see how thin that white is? Super thin. So what I'm going to do kind of want a little bit more of that metallic. So you know how you get those kind of layers on each other when you're doing resin? I have been trying to get that look for a while now, but with no resin. If you blow too much, your colors will start to mix together and you don't want that either. All right, so now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put some isopropyl alcohol into just a tiny little bit. That was like maybe five mils this time. And then I'll put a first layer down and see what happens. So I'm gonna go that way, back this way. And you can see immediately it starts to make kind of these little tiny like fragments fractiles growing in here. I want to blow from this way actually. Ooh, that pretty lacing is already starting to show up. When you're doing paintings like this, it's really all about the layers that you put on it. So now I'm gonna go back in with another layer of white off to that corner. Maybe one that's a little higher up. I wanted to have a thinner one right there. Where's my straw? Now I'm gonna use my straw. I really am at a bad angle because I wanna be blowing down that way, but And you have to be careful because the alcohol 
will cause the paint you could it just takes it right off the canvas and you could literally just blow all your paint off the canvas like right here a little bit has happened Sometimes I like to go right in the, in the middle of them, in the middle of the line, so that it gets a little bit of white on either side. I like to see a little bit of that uh, blue phthalo color up in there. So I just want a little bit more white right here and then I think I'm done. You see when some of them crest over each other like that, it actually looks like waves are crashing. So I'm really happy with this, except for this one little Now, you guys be very careful if you do this because alcohol will flame up. So I'm just gonna hit this with my torch and see if anything else happens. You do not want to burn your paint. You will know immediately if you do that because it will smell. And that is not good. You don't wanna burn your paint. It dries differently and it's just not good. Not good for your health, not good for anything. So I'm just hitting that white that had the alcohol in it. Maybe a couple more spots. Oh, I got some pretty lacing through here. But this is kind of how I get a beachy feel. Almost like it's resin, but with no resin. Okay. I'll take you down so you can look at it. Okay, I hope I don't turn you off or break my phone. I've thrown my phone into the paint God knows how many times. So that is, let me zoom you out a little bit. That is what it looks like. That's what she looks like or he, whichever. And that is what that lacing looks like. Wow, you guys, this is so beautiful. Up in there, can you guys see? I know there's a little bit of a glare, but can you guys see how those colors are in there? That cobalt. Wow, I'm loving this. So for this, the main points are thinner consistency paint I put a little bit of alcohol into my white. It's my regular pouring medium, but I, I thin it down a ton. And you could do this with just paint, Liquitex pouring medium. I normally use a gloss medium and, um, and a little, and actually a lot of water to thin your paints down. So I'm gonna let this dry and I'll post some pictures or either I'll take another video when it's dry or I may wait and splice the two together. I don't know yet, but uh, I hope you guys liked this. Thank you guys for watching. It's Molly from Molly's Artistry. If you like the stuff I'm doing, please subscribe um, and I'll see you guys later. Happy painting. All right, guys, Molly from Molly's Artistry. I just wanted to show the dried picture and it still looks beautiful. The lacing is still there, but it's dry. And it dried in a day, maybe even less than a day. There's that lacing up there. That looks purple, but that is not purple up there. It's like a blue, but man, this is beautiful. I'm just gonna varnish it, that's all. And then here's the other one. And again, it looks beautiful.
the lacing still there. The colors are really vibrant. And that's Payne's gray, not black in the background. But yeah, they dried beautifully. All right, thanks you guys, bye.